Hello everyone, I am Mank and welcome to this video on how does a ransomware attack works. In this video, we will cover topics like what is ransomware attack, how does a ransomware attack work, types of ransomware attacks, effects of ransomware on the business, how to prevent from the ransomware attack, and the last one is popular ransomware attacks. And let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek on a continuous hunt for the latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any update from Simply Learn. As we know, the demand for cybersecurity personnel is skyrocketing. So if you want to master the field of cybersecurity, then Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity in collaboration with MIT is clearly the right choice for you. So this postgraduate program in cybersecurity is designed to equip you the skills required to become an expert in the rapidly growing field of the cybersecurity. This cybersecurity program aims to help you to stay ahead of all the latest cybersecurity trends. So key features of this program is simply a postgraduate program certificate, master classes from MIT faculty featuring modules from MIT SSC and EC Council, access to CEH kit, 25 plus hands-on project and many more. This cybersecurity certification program began with introductory level skills and then progress to the advanced cybersecurity technology. This programs cover all the essential skills you will need to become an expert in the field of cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is one of the top concerns of the business today in an industry. From securing data to anticipating cyber attacks and placing enterprise-wide safeguards to prevent them, employers worldwide are increasingly looking for qualified cybersecurity professionals to join that. So what are you waiting for? Find the course link mentioned in the description box below and enroll today. So let's get started. In 2015, the Tesla Crypt ransomware rapidly spread, causing significant disruption to numerous gamers. Following extended gaming session, gamers were alarmed to find an unfamiliar text file label ransom note on their desktop. The content of this text file is informed that the hacking group had taken control of their game files and private documents, encrypting them in an unreadable format. To regain access to their valuable data, each gamer was required to pay a ransom of $500 worth of Bitcoin to a specific Bitcoin address. Upon payment, they would receive the master key necessary to decrypt their files. This was the Tesla Crypt ransomware. Move on to the understanding what exactly a ransomware attack is all about. So what is a ransomware attack? A ransomware attack refers to a type of malware designed to encrypt personal information and documents prompting the victim to pay a ransom in order to decrypt them. This payment is typically made using cryptocurrency to maintain anonymity, although other payment methods may also be utilized. Even after the money has been sent, there is no guarantee that the hacker will send the decryption key or unlock the files, but in certain sensitive situation, victim makes the payment hoping for the best. So the attackers bringing out the attacks mainly the targeted renowned names of any organization which leads to a lot of damage and theft to a valuable information. So now let's understand how such an attack works. So how does a ransomware attack work? The first one is the spread of ransomware mostly start with phishing attacks. A ransomware attack gains access to a victim device through infected emails, messages and malicious sites and encrypt the data in that device. The ransomware uses simple asymmetric encryption algorithms blocks a user's files and make them difficult to decrypt without knowing the key. And the third one is it also maps the location for targeted file type that include files stored locally and mapped and unmapped network accessible devices. And the fourth one is it can also spread via malware, transmitted via untrusted application installation or even a compromised wireless network. And the fifth one is ransomware adds instruction files describing the pay for decryption process then uses those files to present a ransom note to the user. Now let's understand types of ransomware attacks. So there are numerous types of ransomware available, but they mainly fall into three categories. The first one is locker ransomware. It is a type of malware that blocks standard computer functions from being accessed until the payment to the hacker is not complete. It shows a lock screen that doesn't allow the victim to use the computer for primary purposes. And the second one is crypto ransomware. This ransomware encrypts the local files and documents to computers. Once the files are encrypted, finding the decryption key is impossible unless the ransomware variant is old and the keys are already available online. And the third one is scareware. 
It is a fake software that claims to have detected a virus or other issue on your computer and directs you to pay to resolve the problem. Some scareware logs the computer while others flood the screen with pop-up alerts without damaging the files. So after seeing types of ransomware, let's move forward and see some effects of ransomware on the businesses. So the impact on ransomware attacks on a business can severely destructive. As per the report, ransomware has inflicted a staggering cost of over 8 billion on business in the past year. So let's see what are the reasons. First one is data loss. Businesses may suffer significant data losses resulting in critical information being inaccessible or permanently destroyed. The second one is downtime and infrastructure compromise. Ransomware compromise the business infrastructure leading to disruptive downtime periods. And the third one is costly recovery efforts. The recovery process after a ransomware attack can be expensive. The expensive might surpass the actual ransom amount. And the fourth one is customer loss. The fallout from a ransomware attack may lead to losing customers who may seek services elsewhere. So these effects highlight the severity of ransomware attacks and underscore the importance of robust cybersecurity measures to safeguard businesses against such threats. So now let's move forward and see how to prevent the ransomware attacks. So how can one prevent ransomware attacks? Security experts recommend the following measures to protect against ransomware threats. So the first one is regularly backup on computing devices to ensure data can be restored in case of any attack. And the second one is conduct an inventory like of all assets to have a comprehensive understanding of the organization digital lens. And the third one is keep software including antivirus programs up to date address known vulnerabilities. And the fourth one is educate. Educate end users to avoid clicking on links in emails or opening emails attachment from unknown sources. So by implementing these measures, individuals and organizations can enhance their defense against ransomware and mitigate potential risk effectively. So now let's move forward and see some popular ransomware attacks in history. So here are five most popular ransomware attacks that occurred in recent years and grabbed the entire world's attention. The first one is WannaCry. WannaCry ransomware first emerged in 2017 and infected thousands of computers in over 150 countries. The second one is Patea. Patea ransomware is an encrypting malware that first surfaced in 2016. It encrypts critical files and holds them hostage unless you pay. And the third one is Server. Server appeared in 2016 that spread through phishing emails and encrypted user files and data with advanced encryption methods. And the fourth one is Bad Rapid. Bad Rabbit ransomware is reported to be an improved variant of the Petia ransomware. It locks up the victims, computers, servers and the other files, preventing them from regarding access until a ransom in the form of Bitcoin is paid. And the last one is Loki. Released in 2016, Loki is a file type of ransomware sent using emails demanding payment through an invoice in the form of tainted Microsoft Word document containing infectious macros. So that's all we had for you in this video. We can call it a wrap now. If you have still any question or doubt, let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will help you at the earliest. Thank you so much for being here today. We will see you next time. Until then, stay safe, keep learning with Simply. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.